Hello folks, I'm KK. In this video, you will learn Python data types. Let's understand with a real life problem, we use different things like water, oil, soap, cell phones, brakes, and so on. In our daily life, we can classify these as solid, liquid, and gases. Same is the case in programming world. Each and everything needs to be categorized under different types. There are many types of data such as number, string, characters, images, and so on. In Python, data types can be categorized into five different types. Numbers, strings, tuples, lists, dictionary. Numeric data types are numbers. In Python, there are four numeric data types in Python. Integer, long integer, floating point numbers, and complex numbers. Integers, integers ranges minus 2 to the power 31 to 2 to the power 31 minus 1. Beyond these ranges, interpreter adds L to indicate a long integer. For example, I am using this number in Python shell. You can see here, this is the number. I am pressing enter. You can see the interpreter puts this L with this number to show it is a long integer. We are taking another example which is larger than the previous one and I am pressing enter. You can see it also put L to show this is also a long integer. Floating point numbers. Floating point numbers ranges minus 10 to 10 to the power 308 in Python and has 16 digits precision it can be written using ordinary notation or scientific notation and scientific notation is useful for very large numbers for example i am tapping a floating point number and this is showing the floating point number complex numbers complex numbers has both real and imaginary parts and python allows you to specify this data type in a very easy and convenient way. If you look at the syntax, you can specify in two ways. First, you can write with complex keyword and both real and imaginary part written separated with a comma. In another way, you can write it as x plus y j where x is the real part, y is the imaginary part and j plays the role of iota. Let's see with the example. I have written the variable name com1, written complex and both real and imaginary part within the bracket. I have assigned this complex number to the variable com1. I am pressing enter. I am taking another variable which is of complex type com2. I am taking another complex number and writing it as 20 which is the real part here and 10 which is the imaginary part with iota. I am pressing enter. I will check the value of COM1 and COM2. First COM1, I am pressing enter. You can see the complex number 10 plus 20j. This is the first one. 10 is real part here and 20 is imaginary part as is specified in the first statement. I am writing COM2, pressing enter. You can see the value of second variable. Here real part is 20 and imaginary part is 10. Like this way, you can specify the complex numbers in Python in a very easy and convenient way. Boolean data types. Boolean data types has only two values, true or false. You can see the syntax here. The variable name has the value either true or false. For example, I am taking x is equal to 3 and also y is equal to 3. Now I want to find whether x is less than y or not this expression will only results in either true or false value this statement should give a value false because x and y both have the same value 3 we will see the result it is false it's the correct result for this expression now we will check whether x is equal to y what result it will give it is giving the value true these boolean data types have two values true or false. It is a subtype of integers. 
string data types a python string is a continuous sequence of unicode characters single quotes or double quotes can be used to denote a string for multi line string representation you can enclose the string with either three single quotes or set of three double quotes while starting the string and after the string the string variables can also be written like other variables but these are enclosed within quotes we can see it with an example i am assigning a string value to a variable a i have assigned a string value we are learning python within double quotes for variable a i have assigned another string to a variable b which is enclosed within single quotes also i am specifying a multi line string starting with three consecutive single quotes you can see i am able to write multiple lines of a string with these three consecutive single quotes i am closing it with three consecutive single quotes as i have written in the starting of this multi line string i am pressing enter the variable mul is assigned a multi line string so we will see the value of uh, these three string type variables first a you can see it is showing we are learning python this was the value assigned to variable a now b you can see b was assigned as value which is printed here the value the string assigned to a was written in double quotes while the value assigned to b was written in single quotes both were accepted as string values by the python interpreter the third variable mul i'm pressing enter it is showing the multi line string value you can see these backslash n which shows end of each line this is a multi line string mixed mode arithmetic the arithmetic operation involving both integer and floating point numbers is called mixed mode arithmetic when each operand is of a different data type the resulting value is of more general type and float is the more general type for example 11 divided by 2.0 we will see it in python shell i am checking this operation 11 divided by 2.0 i am pressing enter here 11 divided by 2.0 the less general type is integer 11 is the temporarily and automatically converted into float 11.0 then calculation is performed it is called mixed mode conversion this concludes the video in next video we will learn lists tuples and dictionaries in python thanks for watching